Hello, my name is Hanna Zhuganova. Today I'm going to show you how to run the Astematic to test from our shipping product line. First step is to turn Astematic to. The power button is located on the front of the equipment. All you need is to do is to switch the device on and it will be ready to start. The following accessories should be prepared. Rinsing bowl, reaction bowl, flower spoon, potassium iodide, citric acid, sodium tiosulfate, bury it with distilled water, distilled water sprayer, and other accessories that you will need during the test. To run an Asthmatic 2 test, from the home screen, click on the Run a Test menu. Lift up the Asthmatic 2 arm and take out the second reaction bowl. After it, try the connections with the dry clothes. Prepare the solution by placing already weighted 3 grams of potassium iodide, 1.5 grams of citric acid and fill it with 120 ml of distilled water. After, add 1 drop of sodium tiosulfate. Place the reaction ball into the asthmatic tube and lower the arm down. Click on the check mark to continue. In the drop-down list, select your test protocol. The standard protocol complies with all international standards. The next step is to indicate the test name. Before putting the spoon, you need to weight the flower by using the laboratory scale. To put the spoon into the laboratory scale, tear it and after put 1 gram of the flower. Lee distribute the flour between the marks of the spoon. Write down the weight and place the spoon in the asthmatic tool. Click on the check mark to continue. You need to indicate the weighted amount of the flour. You can also indicate the moisture and protein contents of your flour as well as the base if you need to obtain USDC results. Then press the button and the test starts. Before starting the heating phase, the software will perform the liquid detection. The solution is heated up to 35 degrees Celsius and iodine is being produced. After that, the countdown starts. flower is automatically introduced. At the end of the test, the Asthmatic 2 emits an audible signal and the software displays your results. The arrows enable you to navigate between the different displays. On the first page, you will find the following results at the iodine absorption rate, USD and USDC results that correspond to the rate of damage starch. The USDC unit corresponds to corrected value taking into account the moisture and the protein content of the sample tested. The unit VAPS corresponds to the iodine absorption speed. This is the time required for the flower to absorb 80% of the iodine generated. You can also obtain AACC and parent units if needed. The second page displays the absorption curve, illustrating how the flower absorbs iodine over time. On the third page, display the protein to USD graph that can be used to rawly classify your flower for specific applications based on commonly accepted criteria and knowledge. After each test, you need to make a cleaning. In order to clean and remove the spoon, lift up the dematic to arm and remove the bowl. Clean the probes, stereo and heating resistor by spraying them with distilled water and after gently wipe all the elements with a dry soft cloth. Between the tests you can just stop the spoon lightly to remove flour residue. At the end of the day place the cleaning bowl in its place and make sure probe rests in distilled water with arm lowered. The device can be turned off by pressing the button. We hope this video was useful, for more information please visit our website. Thank you and see you in other videos.